Hi guys, welcome back to the Bookish Bulletins booktube channel. My name is Sukaja and for those of you who don't know, I talk about books. I make book review videos. I also write reviews on Instagram and I have a blog on WordPress. All of that is linked in the description box down below. So I request you to take a look at that. This video is going to be about the first book that I read in January and it is called A Place For Us by Fatima Farheen Mirza. I would like to say that this was definitely a book that surpassed my expectations. This has been on my idea for the longest time and I finally decided to pick it up this year. What I really liked about it is the fact that it has this non-linear narrative style which works really well for this book. It's about a Muslim family where the parents have migrated to the United States and they have children there. So the book is divided into four different sections and three sections are written in the first person. In the last section it turns to the second person narrative and you get a different perspective altogether. What I really liked is the way that this is written. It's written in such caution. Like you know that the author spent around eight years writing this. It's definitely something that has a lot of depth to it. And the writing is just really beautiful. The descriptions and basically Fatima has understood the human psyche really well. She's supposedly a very good observer because she's really captured the essence of what it means to be a family and the kind of things that happen in families that no one really talks about sometimes. No family is perfect. There are always certain black marks in every family. Fatima adds that to this narrative in a really nice manner. There is a problem that this family faces. It's a bit of an emotional read at times. It's definitely an intense tale and towards the end I have to admit I had a tiny tear in my eye because it was really poignant the way that it was expressed. You know the longing of a father for his son. I would rate this book five on five stars because I really respect the fact that she took so long to write it. There were really some very beautiful sentences. So this is the sort of book which pinpoints those things that we don't really have words for, like the things that we struggle to articulate. Fatima has articulated those things really well. It was really difficult to put down from the start. It really had me gripped and it's also like memory after memory. So it's all in a mixed sequences. It's non-linear. So there are only memories but it's not confusing, it's really well put together. So each passage is like a snippet from memory. So Fatima said in an interview that she had these characters in her mind and she had to listen to them, have dialogues and these were things that were happening throughout in her mind all the time for eight years. So she was really drawn and attached to these imaginary characters. But once she puts them in the novel and readers read about them, they are no longer hers. So now they belong to the readership. You can see the care with which uh, Fatima has written this book. And I think being a debut novel, this is really, really good. I have no regrets reading this. This is part of Sarah Jessica Parker's book club. She has now started working with Hogarth Press. They have an office in New York where she works as an editor and she selected this debut novel from among a lot of others. That's why this has become famous. So I first heard about this in Jen V. Campbell's channel. I will link that in the description box. So after hearing Jen talk about it, my interest was piqued and I decided to pick this up and give it a go. And uh, yeah, it had everything, all the elements that I really liked. Also, the idea of Islam, the whole religion, you get a really good idea of what it's all about and how the Quran has different layers and most often because of the in-depth layers of meanings that the Quran has, it has a higher tendency to be misinterpreted. A lot of introductions to a Muslim way of life and lifestyle, the confusion that children go through when they're born Muslim and you aren't in your own country but you're living in the United States and there's a lot of other stuff that the American lifestyle entails and how your religion forbids you from doing a few of the things. It's just identity and there's so much to think about. It's a great book club choice as well, lots to discuss. Anyway, I would highly recommend reading this and I have a feeling this might just end up being on my top five list of this year's favorite books. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and share this video with people you think might be interested. I would love to hear your thoughts on whether you want to read this book or not. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye.